Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> what kind of intro is this? <laughs> Don't look. Okay, so today we're gonna show you guys exactly how we book a load and we're gonna book a load live oh, for you. I'm gonna call the brokers and everything. So. Thank you for calling Total Quality Logistics. Please enter your seven-digit post ID now. Uh, you don't give me enough time. Hi, I'm calling about your team load. It's going from LA, California to Stamford, Connecticut. It picks up in LA and goes, uh, actually before Stamford in Newark area. Found out. Like Newark, New Jersey? Downtown. Not downtown, yeah. Uh, do you have a rate mine? Yes, I'm looking at... 7100 for my average. Where are you at? 6000? Oh, okay. All right. Thank you so much. I told you TQL doesn't. Wow. 6000 though for that bullshit? No way. Just he said tiny. it's a one doc, one man show. I'm like, yeah, you don't want in that. Downtown? Cause 95% of those are like made for beat trucks. I don't know why he acts so shady when he's talking. You know what I mean? <laughs> the first thing you want to do is make sure that. You got ready for the day, you slept well the night before, you have energy, that you took care of yourself and so that you can really focus on your work. I always have breakfast before I book. So right now we just got to our receiver in Los Angeles, California, and we're gonna book a load out. First thing, I'm gonna show you my whole setup. Here on the DAT board, I'm gonna look at the volume that we have going on in each state. California is high as usual. Oh, you know what, babe? Yeah, baby. There's a lot more going into California right now than coming out. No wonder why we got a good rate coming here. Mm. Only 1,200 coming out, there's 2,600. Usually there's like oh, wow. 2,000 going out. Again. Wow, Illinois has 3,600 loads coming out. Wow. So usually, What's if the volume is high in a state, the rates will be higher, but not always. So. First step is to look at the volume and then what I do to prepare myself because we only book loads about twice a week because we go cross country. So I'll look at the load board at specific spots around the US around three times per week so that I have an idea. So we have a checklist that we go through every time that we book a load. If one person is tired that day or someone's not thinking straight, we don't <laughs> mess it up. <laughs> this is how we ended it's up on the UPS run. We were so going down the list first thing is is it a team load that's most of the time sometimes we'll book a solo load if we just want to take it easy for that week but most of the time we'll book a team run and getting stuck on a solo run is usually not preferred we're not in trucking to take it easy that's why we'll oh make some money today <laughs> yeah we're trying to make it not today. tomorrow <laughs> today <laughs> second is are we completely happy with the load that we're booking okay are we completely happy with where the load is going and the rate we're getting for it? <coughs> I shouldn't be eating and talking. <coughs> the times that we've booked loads and we hated it because we got such a rate that we didn't want for it and we settled, we were very unhappy for that entire load. I'm if I'm it. sane that day and I got sleep and I have caffeine, I'll book the loads by myself. Yep. Usually I booked all the loads and then sometimes if I'm like, you're the main booker, I'm the secondary Yeah, if I'm booker. not feeling good, then he'll book a load, but he doesn't book it unless he verifies it with me. Yeah. And then if I'm not feeling good, I don't I don't book it unless we talk about it together. Like Now I'm going to do a screen recording here, and we're going to look for a load for today. Right now we're going to do LA, 100 mile radius to anywhere, van, van or reefer, and van with team as the type, and then obviously the length's 53. The weight we do forty. We don't really take any. We don't take like forty-four thousand. That's no. too, too much stress. A lot of loads um, posted as forty, but they just a lot of times they mean that it goes up to forty. It can go up to forty, but most of the time, we'll book it for forty and we'll get like thirty, twenty. Oh, the other day we oh, got the best one. So we, we got eight thousand pounds and it said yeah. forty. We booked it for forty and it was literally eighty-five hundred pounds. Empty cans, and right? we'll start them. off doing with just today and then if we end up looking for like half an hour or an hour then we'll start looking for tomorrow it's about noon right now which is a little later than we usually look yeah. but this load didn't deliver till later so I will filter the highest rate in the top right hand corner and if I go through it and I don't see anything like good 
I'll do the longest trip because we like to do longer trips or else we'll have to book like three to four per week little ones to make up the same amount so <clears throat> as long as we get paid at least two dollars a mile which we always make sure we do so let's see Mandatory. number one on this list is massive 3pl the, oh. the first thing I look for is who the broker is because that's just an automatic I delete it I delete it off the list get it out of my face so anything massive 3pl I get off are we gonna do I think we can work with sunset Pacific and these are all sunset Pacific. this is another thing we do when we book together She'll look for a good load and I'll get it checked by our dispatch. Yep. So the system Kill is it twice. when we find a good load, we'll just show you exactly what we do. So I'm going to look and see. I'm going to give Mario a heads up that we're going to send him MCs. Send him. Okay, so we're going to verify an MC right now with our dispatcher. Okay, MC. It's 514. 514. Oh, never mind. This has like four drops. Ew. Oh. Vermont, is this that one New Vermont? York, ah, Connecticut, I saw Connecticut. that one. You did? Okay, from yep. Sunset. Okay, let's not do that one right now. So there's two things that you can focus on. I would say in the beginning, you just booking a load anywhere that's good, especially if you're not familiar with like most of the cities and the areas in the US. When we first started doing self-dispatch, we would end up in the most minuscule areas and we were like- We were sucking up, Iowa for like two days. Yeah, we were on the terrible. border of like Montana and Canada and that's not a good hub. Oh man, so. it was a uh, cut bank. <laughs> if you guys know where that is, it's in the middle of nowhere. Now we have like a whole bunch of major hubs that we only go to. We don't pick up, I don't care if a load's paying like three to four dollars a mile. I'm not going to the middle of nowhere because you're gonna get either be stuck there for a couple days or a day, or you'll be stuck there getting a bad load out. And yep. so you're gonna end up making a dollar and a half, two dollars a mile. If that. The so the only way is like risky. if it pays so fat. Yeah, that we can never afford seen, to deadhead somewhere. I've never seen one that fat. Where, yeah. Like, we've ended up at places where we We're talking got, about like, $4 a mile to get there, but we had to deadhead eight hours to get out to get any load in the yeah. nearest area. Like, it's not What's worth it. Sparks? Yeah, oh. well, that's one. That's one we, of them. We I remember that it, one. We had to do it again when we dropped in Billings and we had to pick up down south. Oh, I mean, in, in the middle Wyoming. of Wyoming, yeah. yeah. Shoot, that was such a crazy drive, too, in the snow. It sucked. So Mario's on board. Just send him over. It should be. It's Tuesday. Yeah, I just gotta make yeah. sure. You never know. Oh, I'm on lunch. <laughs> I'm going home lunch. Yeah, the cool thing about them is they don't leave for an hour for lunch. Yeah. They, they eat their lunch in the office. I've seen them. Thank God. <laughs> when you're when you're uh, first starting this, you know, you're just gonna be getting loads going anywhere that pays good. After intermediate level, I would say is getting loads to major hubs and places that are always busy most of the year. And then expert level, I guess you could call it, is making your own lane on the DAT board. So we started making our own lane. Okay, we started self-dispatch in fall of 2019. And we got off it like twice for these dedicated runs that our carrier had. Carrier, silver truck, and LLC. Follow them if you guys want to carry for a low percentage, 12%. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> um, link in description down below anger <laughs> yeah can you guys stop sending us companies that you think that we want to work for with like 20 or 40 percent because we appreciate the heads yeah, up we but appreciate, we're happy we appreciate it but we're happy with our carrier and they only charge us 12 percent for their services so mainly because we, we get do to do whatever yeah, we want we do whatever we want except we can't work with massive 3pl we don't want there's a couple of brokers one. that we know we we don't work with i think us express we don't work with landstar we can work with like swift and jb hunt wait what was that big one remember yeah, oh, what I'm was that? Here. I forgot it. Yeah, it was it everywhere. Out of business, I don't Finally. See ever. We're just it waiting for this one to go out of business. A. It started with an A. Awesome. So we started self-dispatch in fall of 2019. And at that time, we were just going <laughs> anywhere. Wherever there's a load that's paying good, we would just go. And we yep. didn't look to where we were going as long as it wasn't like New York City or New Jersey, New Jersey or some really tight places in Philly. Um, we we didn't to... even know like where the mountains really were besides yeah. like the, the Rockies and stuff. That, but there's mountains everywhere. But that's where we started. After that, we would look exactly where we we're going, set ourselves up for the next load. That was where we, and then now, what we started <laughs> this past September, so September of 2020, we started making our own lane. So I feel like that's like the final step. So, okay, so when we make our own lane, We'll find like two hubs that are constantly having loads and we're like almost guaranteed to get a load back and forth, back and forth. So the first lane we got back in September was 
Los Angeles to Charlotte area, anywhere within like 200 to 300 mile radius, which might sound crazy, but I'll talk to you about that later. And then there was always loads coming back. That was for that little season that lasted about two to three months. After that, that lane was not paying as good anymore. There's still loads coming back to LA, but it's not, it doesn't meet our quota. So after that, we shifted and we changed it to the Northeast and they're paying what we used to get paid. So our quota each week is 10,000. Some, a lot of weeks we'll do like 11 or something like that, but we're usually stay pretty close to it. Once in a while we'll go down to 9,000, but we, we're pretty good at staying out there because we make our own lane. To study lanes, you just need to study consistently every couple of days, every week, whatever it is. Cities that are always shipping to different cities. So, so the southeast to the northwest is least preferred because there are so many mountains in the northwest and they do not pay good enough to go through that. One time I went through, oh man, it was like 12 hours of mountains. Oh Those God. mountains are like... Kennewake Mountains. Up yeah. In the Wolf Creek Pass. Yeah. yeah. Wolf Creek Pass. We stayed oh, the I hell away Dead from there. Oh, I think Dead Man's Pass is up there. So, we haven't gone up to Seattle since for a long time. Since we got the new like truck. Six oh, months. Wow. We've yeah. never taken our new truck up there yet. No, yeah. we haven't. And We've even been the purple drink the crap been out of her. So what we did last week is we got a load paying seventy four fifty going to New Hampshire. Had two stops, but they're mm -hmm. right along the way. That's the only time we pick up multiple stops. And then coming back, we got paid. I think it was. 41. Yeah, it's 41. <clears throat> so we definitely made our quota for that week, yeah. so that was nice. This week, the lows don't seem to be paying as high, but they're not that far off. All right, so let's get a search in. We're just going to sit here and chill out. It's probably going to take us, today I feel like it's going to take us like 30 minutes. Sometimes I book a load in like five minutes or like two minutes. It all depends. <clears throat> Last time you booked in like five minutes while we just stopped on the side of the road. That was crazy. Light and ready now. Let's see, Fargo Freight has one. This one's posted to Newark, New Jersey. Mm. I've never like, even been there. I've delivered there before. Oh, Newark, Newark is Yeah, Newark is like inside. right dead center, like smack in the middle. Ugh, that looks too congested. Yeah, no way. We're down to fi the $5,000 range now, so I'm gonna go and change up the search to longest trip, because just because they offer doesn't mean they're offering the best rate. <clears throat> bottom of Maine so that's pretty close it's right near Portland this one we can call after they're offering 7200 okay but there's one stop in Dayville Connecticut I'm I hope it's not downtown Portland it wouldn't be I hope ew I don't want to drop all the way down here yeah cause look at that that looks really Dayville, shitty Dayville Connecticut <laughs> Those warehouses are not Thank you for calling suck. England Logistics. Hi, I'm calling about your load posted from Compton, California to Raymond, New Hampshire. Oh, please. Yeah. That was two pickups, one drop at Lowe's Compton and also in City of Industry. Okay. Delivery is due Monday morning, 5.30 a.m. The second pick is floor loaded. It's uh, Walmart Lowe's. And it pays $71.94. We're a team driver, so yeah. we were looking for something earlier. Thank you so much, though. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank Thank <laughs> so a little side note, we chose to deliver to Walmart, and we had to wait how long to deliver? We hate delivering to Walmart. So when we hear it, we're like, nah. No, and not I'm everybody glad they told tells us. you. Not everybody tells you. And sure. she knows. She's like, oh, well, it's a Walmart. It's like, everybody should know already. She's like, hi, I'm calling about a load. Um, first come, first serve from 8 to 5 in Compton, California. Delivers Friday. First come, first serve from 4 uh, 4 um, p.m. It's going to be 20,000 pounds of medical glove. Okay. And what rate are you looking for that? 6,200. Can you do 6,400 for us? Give me one second. Let me just check if he answers immediately. Thank you so much. What's your MC number? 856-382. 856-382. And your best contact in case I have to call you back? It's 808. Oh. 
more. Give me one second. Let me put the carrier information. Thank you. <laughs> Literally like a two hundred dollar difference, but I got it. So my name is Silver Trucking LLC. Yes. Can you send it to Mario at SilverTruckingLLC.com? Thank you, Linda. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Yay! Okay, so this load that we got is paying higher than everybody else by about anywhere from like 400 to 1,000 more than the other loads because everybody's trying to offer like 5,500 to go to New Jersey. Like some people are have the balls to offer as low as like 4,000. They were really nice Ooh, about it too. Ooh, it's so like we're just a couple back there. <laughs> we just delivered Red Bull, so we got a couple um, duds. So now I'm gonna text. I'm gonna text my dispatcher, Mario, and I'm gonna tell him that he's got a Raycon coming his way. Sometimes they have to sign it. And I tell him where it's coming from, from Nolan. Yeah, that's the way we came. <laughs> they were a little uh, white, almost soon. go the same way as Boston. Okay, it's pretty late. Very little white. <laughs> Look what I just found out about It's still early path, too, my baby. Which I didn't even know. So we're gonna yeah. pick up in Saratoga Springs. Then we're gonna head back to California. California. But I just found out that they put on here where the truck entrance is. So that's kind of nice. Some really big warehouses are super confusing. confusing yeah. But this is a small oh. one. We would have been able to see it, obviously. <laughs> I didn't even realize you were videotaping. I'm like talking. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm like talking <laughs> to you. I'm like, yeah, no. Baby. I want some ice cream. So I'm trying to look for a truck stop. So what I'm gonna do is start my trip. Um, yeah. And then I'm gonna just only click those. And then we're gonna find one along this route. Need some ice cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 